hyper-naked motorcycles have typically been high-barred, unfaired versions of a manufacturer's range-topping superbike, although nowadays this isn't always the case. But with their superbike performance but more comfortable riding position, hyper-nakeds are an excellent one-bike-in-your-garage proposition. You can blaze around a track day, just pop down the road, or you can even do some touring, all in relative comfort with grin-inducing performance always on tap. Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter, let's dive into the 7 best hyper-nakeds of 2021. The BMW S1000R is a direct sibling of the S1000RR Superbike, with the inline four-cylinder 999cc engine producing 165 horsepower at 11,000 RPM and 84 pound-foot of torque at 9,250 RPM in hyper-naked form. It has fully adjustable suspension, an Agropovic silencer, and of course, it comes with a full electronics package both for performance and comfort, with tyre pressure system, heated grips, 6 axis IMU with various rider modes which have configurable options, and even keyless ride and adaptive headlights. You can also now spec the M package for the first time, which among other carbon goodies will include carbon fibre wheels, and the BMW M colour scheme. Base prices start from £12,055 in the UK, $14,545 in the US or €16,370 in Spain. And for our friends down under, that will be $22,691 Australian dollars. The price though will increase as you add options. For example, the options I just mentioned including the M-Pack with carbon wheels and adaptive headlights, in the UK the price would increase by £8,595 to £20,650. However, as you'll see later in this video, this still can be a competitive price in the hypernaked segment. All new for 2021, the Honda CB1000R, although not being a direct sibling of the Fireblade Superbike, with 143 horsepower from the 998cc inline four cylinder engine, it can still be referred to as a hyper naked, even if only just. It is also delivering a healthy 77 pound foot of torque, and we have to remember that 1000cc is now the smallest engine size in the hyper naked category. Even though it is the least powerful in this group, the Honda still brings a high level of componentry with shower big piston forks, all round LED headlights, a 5 inch TFT dash and the ride by wire throttle offers customization of not only the power delivery but also torque control and engine braking. It also has a 3 level adjustable quick shifter. So the CB1000R isn't just about cruising around town looking good, but it is the styling that sets the Honda apart from the others here. With Honda calling it Neo Sports Cafe, its cafe racer esque lines and retro styling cues and single-sided swing arm certainly give it a classy and refined look and there is no doubting it will have impeccable road manners or the level of engineering behind it and compared with most hyper nakeds it won't break the bank either prices start in the uk at just eleven thousand six hundred and forty nine pounds or one dollar under thirteen thousand dollars in the us in spain it's thirteen thousand three hundred and fifty euros and in australia it will cost you nineteen thousand two hundred and forty eight australian dollars arguably a lot of bike for the money. The KTM 1290 Super Duke RR is a standout in this group as it is the only remaining hyper naked with two cylinders. With the big V twin torque monster engine also having plenty of power, KTM continued to up the capacity of the LC8 engine and maintain the hooligan status of the beast. The 1301cc 75 degree V twin is a structural part of the chassis. The bike has been revised with the latest model losing weight and gaining power over the previous models. Now producing 180 horsepower and a huge 103 pound foot of torque, coupled with a 9 kilogram weight reduction, means that the RR now has a 1 to 1 power to weight ratio. It is a high tech bike too, right down to the details, having machined titanium inlet valves with nitride coating, saving 19 grams of the steel alternatives. When a manufacturer goes into those kind of details, they are clearly very serious. Sporting WP's top of the line fully adjustable suspension front and rear, along with Brembo style Emma calipers, it has high foot pegs for increased ground clearance and lean angle, and the gear change pattern can be easily reversed to a race shift pattern. KTM's mantra of ready to race 
definitely applies to the Super Duke RR. The KTM has a full and comprehensive suite of electronics and rider aids, including a dedicated track mode, and the rider has the ability to disable the rear ABS and cornering ABS. This is a serious track bike, but it still has cruise control for the ride home. Smothered in carbon fiber, including brake cooling ducts, the striking trellis frame, single-sided swing arm, and praying mantis looks mean the Super Duke RR is as formidable standing still as it is flying around the track or going down the road. With the Super Duke RR there is no pillion seat so if you want to take a passenger you would have to go for the R version and forego the carbon fiber bodywork and the weight saving that comes with the RR. The RR though is a true hyper naked and it is the last of the V-twins although it is the most expensive bike here. Pricing for the RR starts at £21,499 in the UK and €26,249 in Spain with pricing and availability in the US and Australia still to be announced. The Suzuki GSXS 1000 is a direct descendant of the GSXR Superbike and has been thoroughly updated for 2021. See my video above for a more in-depth look into those details. The Suzuki has had a complete redesign aesthetically, with MotoGP inspired winglets, LED lights all round, including the new distinctive piggyback headlights, and there is an edgier, more purposeful look overall, bringing it right up to date. The engine has been heavily revised, particularly with regard to the valves, cam profile and throttle body and the inline four-cylinder 999cc unit is putting out a very healthy 150 horsepower and 78.6 pound-foot of torque, now having a much broader torque curve than the previous model. Remember, like Honda and BMW, Suzuki haven't increased capacity, so they aren't going to achieve the headline power figures of a bigger capacity engine. They can, though, keep development costs down. The Suzuki has a full electronic suite from its new ride-by-wire throttle, including quick shifter, rider modes, and traction control, and and has fully adjustable forks and Brembo monoblock calipers. The GSXS 1000's biggest trick though is bang for your buck, providing all of this for just £10,999 in the UK or €13,695 in Spain, with prices in the US to be confirmed soon. But you can bet it's going to be a bargain there too. I mean, it's half the price of some of the other bikes here, and it certainly is not half the bike. Suzuki are the current MotoGP world champions. They know how to make a top performing motorcycle. All new for 2021, Triumph have gone for a ground up redesign of the iconic Speed Triple and made what could be one of the standout bikes of the year. The new Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS is delivering 177.5 horsepower from the 1160cc inline three cylinder lightweight engine and 92.2 pound foot of torque. Check out my video above for more details on the engine and bike updates. It comes with top end fully adjustable all in suspension front and rear with Brembo Stylum and monoblock calipers added standard. Also standard is the quick shifter, full suite of rider modes, switchable traction control, switchable ABS and cruise control. It even comes with a carbon front mud guard, single sided swing arm and bar end mirrors, along with a new 5 inch TFT screen with phone connectivity, turn by turn navigation and GoPro connectivity all operated via the handlebar controls. This is all standard out of the factory and it's an all new bike for 2021. So guess the price, 19000 pounds, 20,000 pounds, no, UK price is just 15,100 pounds, in the US just 18,100 dollars, it's 18,400 euros in Spain and in Australia just 25,600 Australian dollars. Another bargain, seriously a lot to get excited about, you can check it out in much more detail in my in-depth video by clicking on the link at the end of this video. Revised for 2021, the Ducati Street Fighter V4S is certainly the big boy of the hypernaked sector when it comes to power figures. 208 horsepower with 90.4 pound foot of torque from the 1103cc V4 out of the Panigale Superbike. But it certainly isn't the big boy in weight, being the lightest bike here at just 178 kilograms dry, or more importantly, 198 kilograms wet. The Desmos Adesis Stradale engine is race derived, lightweight 
lightweight and compact and now produces its peak torque 2000 rpm lower down the rev range than the previous model while having a 250 rpm higher red line the engine is also a structural element of the chassis and it comes with high-end orange forks and shock which are electronically fully adjustable and adaptive you get brembo m50 style m monoblock calipers up and down quick shifter from the panigale and it comes rolling on forged marcassini aluminium alloy wheels you get all the ducati italian exotica of the panigale but with a more livable and practical riding position it even has biplane wings to help keep the front wheel planted the v4s as well as having electronically adjustable suspension has an outstanding electronics package including three rider modes cornering traction control cornering abs wheelie control slide control launch control and engine braking management you can configure all this along with the suspension right there on the dash with a few thumb movements via the user-friendly interface the only drawback with the v4s is that you have to pay for all this uk pricing for the v4s starts at twenty thousand two hundred and five pounds it's twenty four thousand three hundred and ninety five dollars in the us thirty four thousand two hundred dollars in australia and twenty five thousand seven hundred and ninety euros in spain although expensive it is comparable to a similarly specced bmw s 1000R and significantly cheaper than the KTM 1290 Super Duke RR or you could go for the lower spec but cheaper base Street Fighter V4. Either way reach deep down the back of the sofa and have at it and then let me know where you bought your sofa from. The other piece of two-wheeled Italian Exotica here and my number one choice is the Aprilia Tuono V4 1100 factory, the naked version of the RS V4. Another bike that has been thoroughly revised for 2021, the Aprilia may not have the headline power figure of the Ducati at 175 horsepower from its 1077cc 65 degree V4, but it is right up there with its torque figures at 89 pound foot. In real world terms, the Ducati isn't going to be getting away from you on the V4 Tuono. The V4 Tuono factory comes with the same full Ollins electronically adjustable and adaptive suspension and has Aprilia's full APRC electronic suite including six rider modes, three for the road and three for the track. Engine braking management, traction control, wheelie control, launch control, cruise control and even a pit lane limiter as well as Aprilia's up and down quick shifter. Of course it comes with Brembo M50 monoblock calipers which are attached to braided hoses with Bosch cornering ABS and it even has rear wheel lift control. So it's more than got the Ducati covered when it comes to high-end technology and componentry and it also has MotoGP inspired winglets. Unlike the Ducati, the Aprilia has a dual beam aluminium chassis on which you can adjust the headstock position, rake angle, engine height and swing arm pivot so you can really get the Tuono dialed in exactly how you want it. You can have any colour you want as long as it's Aprilia black so that's an easy choice but seriously this bike is the real deal. With it you can go touring long distance, chase some winding back roads or get really technical on track and so somehow, maybe due to constant refinement and evolution rather than revolution, Aprilia can sell you the top spec V4 Tuono factory for just £18,100 in the UK. That's over £2,000 less than the top spec Ducati. And it's not like you need to add any extras, it's ready to go road or track at that price. Very impressive. In the US, it'll cost you $1 less than $20,000 and the same €19,999 in Spain. And in Australia, it will cost you just thirty. One thousand eight hundred and thirty Australian dollars. All that bike for less money is very hard to beat. So there you have it, the 7 best hyper naked motorbikes of 2021. Picking a winner isn't easy, but I would have to go for the Aprilia, although it is hard to overlook the Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS, which is a bargain, and the Suzuki is an outstanding package at half the money of the Aprilia, KTM, Ducati and BMW. And then don't forget the classic retro styling of the Honda. All I can say is that all 7 of these bikes really are magnificent. I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know your number one choice in the comments. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and for a more in-depth look at the Triumph Speed Triple click the link on screen. Remember to subscribe for plenty more motorcycle videos to come and whatever you do have a great day and thanks for watching.